In this video, I want to show you how to create a 3D part program using our CNC controller Next 3.0. Right now, I'm on my programs library page where I can see all the part programs I have created before and by clicking any of those, I can load it right away to my CNC main memory and it will be ready to be executed. But right now, what I want to do is to create a new part program so I begin that by clicking on new. In this dialog box I have to enter a name to my, for my part and then I will choose 3D from the drop down box. When I click on OK next we'll put the new program in my program library and here I can see that it's a 3D part and Next has put the default thickness and the default material automatically and of course I can choose uh, change these if I want to and also I can see here the date I created the, this part. On the pane below I can see the thickness here 2 mm the, this is the default value when you create a new part program. I can easily change this to whatever thickness I have and then I can see here the material which is steel. I have right now three choices here steel, stainless steel and aluminum but if I want I can uh, create multiple different uh, materials and they will be shown here uh, when I create new programs. Uh, here we have also the resistance of the part uh, so I can change this uh, to a custom value and I'll Finally, I see the mute point, the speed change point of the RAM, which is 4 mm below, uh, above the material. So, once I am happy with my initial uh, input on the part program, the next step I want to go to is the editor. So, in, in the editor page, right now all I have is a blank page. First of all, I want to enable the quick drawing mode, which will uh, really speed up the way I create the part program. Now I want to start uh, putting the information for my part so I click on the face and I click on insert face. With this dialog box I have to give the length and width of the base plate for my part program. So for the length I enter 200 millimeters and for the width I enter 100 millimeters. When I click OK, Next will create the space part and from this point on to whichever edge I click or I tap on the screen, Next will let me add a flange to, to, the, to, to that part. So right now I want to make a simple box so I will start from here and I will click on this edge. As you can see immediately a dialog box comes up and asks me to put the length and the angle so I will do a 50 millimeter flange length and I will put nine, 90 degrees. When I click OK you'll see that next put the flange right where I want it with the angle and the dimension data. So I will continue and I will put another flange here and again as soon as I tap on the screen it immediately asks me to put the length which is 50 millimeter and the angle which should be 90 degrees and I continue to the third edge and I click on the third edge and I put the same values here 50 and 90 and finally I click on the fourth and the last edge and I put the same information here again. Now that my part is ready what I want to do is to choose the correct tooling for this part. Since this is a closed box it is crucial to choose the right tools otherwise I might have a collusion uh, with the part and the tools or the machine itself which would create a lot of problems uh, for my part. So next step I do is go to the tool up menu. 
here I see already the standard tool that is on the machine uh, remaining from the last part program but here I will show you a feature which makes next one of the best CNC controllers for press brakes in this market uh, choosing the right tool this is usually uh, especially if you have complex parts this is usually a big headache for the operators and if the operators are not really uh, well experienced in this matter they might choose uh, wrong tooling and this would cause to uh, scrap the parts, uh, scrap the material because of collusions which would increase the cost of running the press brake here Next has a very simple solution for this as you can see I have here a button called automatic tooling and as soon as I click on this Next will analyze the part that I have and it will offer me the most optimum tooling station to bend this part so here you can see it put my punch holder uh, it put my punch as uh, demo 2 uh, it put a die uh, demo v6 and my die holder so when I click on generate stations you will see that it will put the punch and die and please look at this part especially because of this is a close box next uh, generated a punch which has a horn on the left side so that there is no collusion when bending this part so tooling takes two seconds for next and now you we're ready to go to the final step which is the simulation module on the simulation module all I want to do is click on the search button and click on execute and next we'll look for the optimum bending sequence and as soon as it has found one it will warn me and yes I want to store it and I click on close now here I can review all the steps and I can see if there's anything I don't like so right now we're on the first band and this is the second band and this is the third band and this is our final band as you can see bending is completed there is no collusion no problem whatsoever and the last thing I want to do is click on generate so steps uh, next creates the steps necessary for the program to be run on the press break finally when I click on the menu and automatic page here next warns me that I had a different tooling last time I ran the machine so it just wants me to check if I have the correct tooling um, so I know I have the correct tooling so I'll, I'll just say update and continue and here my part is ready I have all the numeric values for the uh, for all the axes of my machine and I can run this part right away